Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and in this special episode of Top 5, we're giving you an inside look at what our CNET editors are expecting to encounter at the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show, CES. These are the trends in tech that will set the tone for the whole industry for the rest of the year, and for each trend, we're going to hear from one of our expert CNET editors. So let's get started with CNET's Top 5 Predictions for CES 2013, counted down by CNET's Best and Brightest. I'm David Carnoy, starting things off at number five, lightning accessories. Now that Apple has redesigned the connection on the iPhone and iPad, it seems likely that we're going to see a new wave of all the accessories that go with them. Car chargers, speakers, adapters, there are a lot of accessories out there and the companies that make them all want to stay up to date. I'm Eric Franklin, coming in with number four, Android tablets. Yeah, I know, big surprise. But with the popularity of products like the Kindle Fire and Nexus 7, everyone, except for Apple and Microsoft, everyone wants to release the next big Android tablet. I think we'll see a range of different sizes from 7, maybe even up to 13 inches, most targeting the $200 to $400 price range. I'm Scott Stein, and coming in at number three, apps. It seems that every product now comes with its own app. Whether it's a TV or a home stereo or maybe a toaster, we're seeing an increasing amount of products that have their own companion app. And they're not always good, but a lot of them are interesting. So whether you want to use your smartphone as a TV remote or just the EQ on your stereo with your tablet, manufacturers are making sure that there's an app for everything they make. And now that there are more tablets and phones than ever, expect that to be a big trend at the CES. I'm Matt Muscoviak with number two, streaming everything. Whether it's Bluetooth or AirPlay speakers or some new way to plug Netflix into your TV, we're seeing more and more wireless technologies for the living room. And I'll be surprised if we don't hear something new from either Roku or maybe Google TV, or maybe even an update to last year's award-winning Simple TV product for cord cutters. But before we get to number one, I'm Jessica Dalcourt with a prediction for something we probably won't actually see much of at CES, those really whiz-bang smartphones. With Mobile World Congress just a month after CES, I expect that most phone makers will save their marquee announcements until then. I'm sure we'll see more than a few phones at CES, but I wouldn't hold my breath for a parade of astounding flagship products. And finally, I'm David Katzmeyer with our number one prediction for CES, OLED and 4K televisions. Deja vu, you say? Well, yeah, TV news from CES a year ago was dominated by these technologies too, but this time, TV makers are serial. They promise. OLED is destined to replace LCD and plasma someday, but for 2013 we expect these amazing TVs to cost around 10 grand, if they come out. And 4K is the next 1080p, but it only makes a difference on 80 inch plus screens and there's no 4K content today. Yay, the future! So there you have it, CNET's top 5 predictions for the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show, straight from our CNET editors. Head over to ces.cnet.com for all of our preview coverage and watch that page go ballistic as our live CES coverage rolls out on January 8th. Until then, I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.